my warm up while watching The Last of Us. This is really good for your hips. And not to mention your quads and your calves. Ooh. I used to think all dips were the same. Uh, so then I was doing a lot of ring dips just because they were more difficult, but they are just different. You need to be able to do both ring dips and um, bar dips. They just target the muscles differently. Uh, I found after I was doing a lot of ring dips and then went to bar dips, that uh sorry excuse me that uh just at dinner that um i lost my proficiency with uh bar dips so i'm trying to go back to them what i'm probably going to do next is work on my bar dips and the russian dips which are a lot of fun and probably the toughest bar tips you can do. Anyway, let's see, see how this goes. goes. I haven't done these in a while. These are the toughest uh, bar tips you can do, and hopefully I don't bang my head like I normally do. All right. I'm gonna be really sore tomorrow. Okay, so what's hard about these, that was badass, that was eight of them, is it's a normal dip, and so it's like up, and when you come down, you rotate back onto your forearms. So your forearms are now parallel to the ground, and then using your wrists and shifting your weight forward, you come back up, to the top position. It's the hardest part actually is the falling down part, the controlled falling down part. And what I found was getting the wrist strength in order to control it, otherwise you completely fall back. It's really dis disheartening uh, when you, you do it for the first time. So you go down, up, back, over, oh, and down. Yeah. <laughs> it happened so fast that I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. So I go up, down, and then back, and then forward, and then up. Anyway, watching the slow mo, it's wicked hard. And again, it's the back part that you're not used to doing because it's a crazy motion. And I remember when I uh, learned how to do it, it was actually the first time I went to coma and I learned how to do it. I was all proud of myself. And that's when I got injured. You know, it's a psychosomatic injury. And uh, man, I couldn't do any dips, couldn't do any pull-ups, couldn't do any push-ups. <laughs> Crazy. But that's the power of your mind. It's either your best friend or it's your worst enemy. So anyway. <clears throat> Better. 146. Okay, so I've got pretty strong ankles as evidenced by jumping on one leg. Um, doing a double broad jump on one leg but you can always get stronger I always thought the sit bar was silly because my ankles were strong but everything can get stronger and everything can improve so I bought one and I haven't used this in a while I started using it the other day 
but it's a great exercise for your tibialis. Maybe even better with non-minimalist running shoes like these, but uh, it's a great exercise. Highly recommend it uh, because most people have very weak ankles and tibs and calves for that matter. Uh, yeah, totally worth whatever I paid for these. I think I got this from Freak. No, sorry, Courtside Fit. Freak equipment has. I'm like Mr. Rogers now. I think Freak Equipment has a cheap one too, but this is Quartzide Fit. This is the cheapest one I could find at the time, and uh, comes with came, comes with, came with everything I need except for the weight, even the collar, which is pretty cool. <sighs> so I've been uh, doing a minute and ten seconds with these bands on. Uh, three minutes rest uh, days now kind of cool probably using BFR incorrectly for this way but you get a hell of a pump uh, yeah so I would have never imagined in a million years I'd be able to do <laughs> even 30 seconds when I first got this thing to uh, 110 now uh, which is crazy and then 110 with these cuffs because it just holds all that blood in. Anyway, progress. You gotta work towards these things. Hit the goal. I could probably do 115 or if I, I'll just do it for shits and giggles in a couple days. Um, it's just mental at that point. Um, and the whole time, it's just up in the air. So, uh, yeah, time for bed.